My name is Maya Kumfadi Ibi. I'm the Senior Vice President for West Africa at AutoCheck. So, um, so you know how they have the what, the how, the when, and the how. I'd say two things stand out. There's a lot, but two things really stand out. And in as much as it's a lot, I really love it because it gives you a broad a range of experience, which for me is really, really exciting. So my name is Ono Lapo Thomas, but most people call me Lapo. Hi, my name is Chimwe Obukwe. Um, I'm a product manager at Helium Health. I work at Filmhouse. I'm the chief people officer at the Filmhouse Group. And I'm basically in charge of ensuring that um, our people management practices are top notch. In the early stages or the early stage of my career, um, it was about self-discovery. I stumbled into IT by default. Um, when I graduated high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I most certainly thought that I would spend my life practicing law. As a matter of fact, my peers voted me least likely to transition out of law. My dream was following my mom's footsteps. She was a banker, so I just inevitably thought I would end up being a banker. I knew that I wasn't going to practice engineering as soon as I finished school. And I've always been sort of intrigued by um, financial you know, service industry banking at that particular time. I think what we do, our mission, we can trace what we're doing. I mean, we're changing healthcare. Being part of that mission and seeing it being implemented and the impact that we have is what's exciting. I left the comfort of legal practice and have transitioned now and literally seen the light in renewable energy. I love, love, love the work that we do at Daystar Power because not only are we providing cleaner energy and helping companies decarbonize their electricity supply, but we're also offering significant cost savings. As the head of fulfillment operations, right, when Trade Depot, we decide we want to scale, whether um, to reach more retailers within a city, a new city or country, my job is to ensure that we have the fulfillment infrastructure that will enable us to reach those, you know, distribute goods to and reach those retailers. So I think there are a lot of interesting things and exciting things about AutoCheck, but I think one of the ones that stand out to me is just the value that we're providing across Africa. Okay, so my name is Jean Kula. I'm the country manager for Helium Health in Kenya, and I manage operations here in Kenya and across East Africa. The fact that we are working on something that I'm so passionate about you know improving the quality of healthcare, improving the lives of people and the fact that I get to do that with people who I genuinely enjoy working with is super awesome. My name is Patricia Galega. I'm a junior field service engineer at Daystar Power Energy Solution. I helped to anchor a number of projects which helped for the seamless running of my department and was critical for the growth of my department. My name is Shiko Mugambi. I'm originally from Kenya but I live in Lagos. Um, I'm the Chief of Staff and Head of Investor Relations at Kobo360. Kobo360 is an e-logistics and fintech platform where we connect um, micro fleet owners to shippers who have logistics needs. In school, I did uh, my undergraduate degree was in actuarial science and I'm also a certified public accountant and then I have an MBA as well. So I studied economics and international relations in the, uh, at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. Um, my first job, I worked for um, the leading investment bank in Nigeria, um, Chapel Hill, and I started off as an investment manager. So I was working within the asset management um, team. And then I started doing a bit of research, like equity research, before I found myself in HR. So I did that for about three years and it was great actually, it was a lot of fun. I would say I have experience in Yes, there has been bias at my previous role. There are just certain experiences that women find themselves facing that are unique uh, to because of the fact that we are women. You know, there's a scenario where or situations where you're saying something and nobody feels like you're not being heard. Which I don't think is um, so much the case for men. It's so, evident that it, it does exist, um, but let me focus on how I don't focus on that. Perhaps what has changed is my perspective in knowing that if you have a bias against me, that's a limitation on you and it's not reflective at all of who I am or what I can do. I think I was fortunate actually because I, I, 
I was able to see women that led with value rather than the gender thing because it was very male dominated. And um, how do I answer bias and discrimination? I focus on the things within my control, that is my craft, and that is making sure that I'm bringing a confident game to the table. What would I say are some key parts of my life that have sort of built me into who I am today? A, a couple of things that, in fact, they're things that have recently become apparent to me is first of all just give yourself grace there's a lot of things that you don't know and you will make many mistakes but everybody's figuring it out as they go along self-discovery know who you are um, because i believe that you know women we give life we birth life and i think anybody that is threatened by that is missing out um, one mantra I live by is, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I probably say that to myself at least 10 times a day. Uh, I would tell every woman, dream big, right? Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do what you believe you can do. I would advise women that also want to venture into roles like mine to be, um, to be fearless, basically, to learn to really trust and believe in themselves. Self-discovery know who you are get a mentor because they've walked your path some way or the other it doesn't have to be the same industry but and it it's not like you're emulating exactly who someone else is but you just need someone to help you navigate whatever label anybody wants to put on you it's your job to prove to them that listen i deserve to be here i can do it and give them the results that back it up it starts with you nobody is coming to save you Nobody's going to do what you do better than you. Everything starts with you. I will celebrate women's achievements. I will challenge gender stereotypes, discrimination, and bias. I will forge positive visibility of women by being an example. I will celebrate women's achievements. I will challenge gender stereotypes, discrimination, and bias. I most certainly will forge positive visibility of women. I will maintain a gender equal mindset. I will call out gendered actions or assumptions. I will maintain a gender equal mindset. I will celebrate women's achievements. I will challenge gender stereotypes, discrimination,